Hey everybody, welcome back to the Steel Hyundai channel. This is Zach, and behind me, we have the Ionic 5, the 2024. This is the preferred long range, all wheel drive in a beautiful abyss black. We're gonna do a quick five minute video today. We're gonna look at the exterior, the interior, as well as some of the features. If you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more great content. With that being said, let's get started. Okay, starting with the exterior, you can tell already that this is a very unique looking vehicle. Let's have a look at the headlights. You're gonna have LED daytime running lights, LED high beams and low beams. They are gonna be a very unique shape. You're gonna notice a pixel theme. These are called parametric pixels and there's over 250 of them in the front end alone. Working our way to the side, you're gonna have auto flushing door handles. The wheels are gonna be 19 inch alloy wheels. You're gonna get rear privacy glass for the second row passengers and privacy glass on the back. You're gonna notice the spoiler there. You're also gonna have an LED brake light in there and a shark fin antenna on the top. Side mirrors are gonna be heated with LED turn indicators. All around a very unique looking vehicle Probably one of my favorite EVs on the market today. With that being said, let's take a look at the inside. Alrighty, taking a look at the interior of the Ionic 5, you'll notice that it's just as unique as the exterior. Starting off with your steering wheel, you're going to have a leather wrapped heated steering wheel. You're going to notice that the Hyundai logo is missing. Instead, those four dots are Morse code for the letter H. Moving on to your display cluster, you have a 12.3 inch display for your speed and other valuable information such as your battery and your range. Moving on to your media and your navigation screen, you have a 12.3 inch touchscreen display with excellent response time. You have physical buttons for your maps, your navigation and your media, dual zone climate control. You will have cloth interior, this is a stain resistant material unique to Hyundai. So your passenger will have six-way manually adjusting. Your driver will have eight-way power adjusting with two-way lumbar. Looking at the back real quick, you have a 60-40 folding bench. Now, you can also slide the bench backward and forward, which is a cool feature to have. You have LED lighting throughout the interior of the cabin. Now let's talk about safety. When it comes to safety, Hyundai does not mess around. You have lots of standard safety features on the bottom trim level such as highway driving assist, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, lane follow assist, forward collision avoidance, rear cross traffic avoidance, and the list goes on. I'd have to make a three hour video just to talk about all the safety features that you get with this vehicle. And one more thing I wanted to point out is just how much leg room you get. So this is the leg room underneath the front row. This is the first time I've ever been able to cross my legs in the passenger seat, which I think is pretty neat. With that being said, Let's take it for a quick spin and talk about how it handles. Alrighty, so we are behind the wheel of the Ionic 5 and just a little bit more information. So this is a mid-sized SUV, but keep in mind that the wheelbase is actually longer than the Palisade, which is a full-size three-row SUV. Also, this vehicle weighs as much as a full-size pickup truck, but it handles and it feels like you're driving a small car. Now, there's multiple trim levels available. The trim level that I am in today gives you 320 horsepower with about 450 pound-feet of torque. You can really feel that. As soon as you go up a hill, there's no issue whatsoever. Other than that, you know, it's an all-wheel drive. It handles very well. When you're in sport mode, the steering is a little bit stiffer, which is nice. That's what exactly what you would want. But right now I am in comfort and it is just a very enjoyable drive. Driving in an EV is far different than driving in any gas model. So if you haven't driven in an EV yet, come down to our dealership and take one for a test drive because I gotta say it is a very unique driving experience and it's also very fun. So overall, I give this vehicle a 10 out of 10. It's my favorite EV lineup in the line. It's my favorite EV in the high-end lineup. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.